Hello, everybody. This is Bobby Mills for TheIndependent.com with another In The Hoop show. We're in Central City, Nebraska with the great, the famous, and the one only <laughs> B.J. Blaze, yeah. head boys basketball coach. Yeah. I'll give you your 20 bucks. Yeah, thanks. No, no, no you give me the 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I guess Anyway, you. how about that? Appreciate that. Hey, we're glad to be here, man. Yep. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for coming. Oh, always, man. So, uh... Are you still teaching second grade here? I am teaching second grade still, yeah. yeah. So it's the, the Cadillac of the elementary, man. It's the best. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. You yeah. can influence them. Yeah. That is. Oh, get, yeah. It's great. The fifth graders, you know, they kind of have their... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I'm have a fifth kidding. grader, so yeah, I know how that, how that goes. So No, it's great. Yeah, it's great to be in down here. I know. So tell me about your coaching staff this season. Has it changed much from last and, and still, we want to hear their names. You bet. So same guys as, you know, the last five years we've all been together. This is Ooh. year number five. So Troy Hubert, uh, our football coach. Um, he doesn't know anything. That you, yeah, 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 right. We're still working with him. But, no, he's, <laughs> he's our, obviously our head football coach. And then uh, JV coach for us. And then uh, Ben Nelson, he's a Central City um, alum, not yeah. the governor, but you know, so we, he could but, be, we but we call him that. You he know, could be gov. he's uh, he's been he's our reserve coach, freshman coach. Um, Rob Anderson, another Central City alumni. Um, he's a banker in Hordeville. He's uh, he's been here for with us for five years, and he's coached in Central for about fifteen or sixteen years, off and on. So he helped Justin Anderson when he was doing yeah. it. Helped Jimmy Motes for a couple years. So he's just you know he loves the game and. Just a great guy to have. And then Ethan Nelson, which would be Ben's uh, youngest brother, um, he helps us uh, when he can. And so he does a lot of the stuff like player development when he comes after practice. He helps guys. Cool. So, so yeah, he's, he's kind of the one that stays late and helps these guys if they want to shoot and work out. So, yeah, just got a great staff. And um, yeah, I have nothing but great things to say about them. And we do a good job. We work well together and have our – Everybody has their thing that they bring to the team, so oh, it's awesome. Wow. So they've been with you almost since the beginning. Here. Since the beginning, yeah. This is the, we haven't had any changes, so yeah, it's been good. I don't, I don't think I've ever interviewed a coach that said some some guys that wasn't. Is this a volunteer coach that stays late with the kids? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're okay. Yeah. Now that's yeah. God bless the yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Halo, baby. Yeah. That so is they, really they just cool. They love the game and. All yeah, right. this would be you know like Aiden Nelson's uh, uncle and dad. That's Boy, that so is. that that played for us last year, and yeah, they just they just want us to you know do great things. So I'm a lucky man. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, what about your? Do you, do you have a kids program? I think the last time I talked, it was going strong. Yeah, right? so we uh, you know um, the girls coach and I, Dan Negus, uh, the last two Sundays. Uh, we had two Sundays in November, and we had one last last Sunday, and then we have one more. We have about 85 first Ooh. through fourth graders that come in, and we just doing a little uh, three-on-three league with those guys. Sure. Um, you know, and then all of our fourth grade, um, well, excuse me, third grade um, and up play, you know, and travel, travel stuff in January, or we've had leagues, and sure. uh, yeah, every, I mean, we, for the most part, every, everywhere is kind of covered, you know, with, with parents coaching, with po coaching groups. And so, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's been, it's going to, uh, the future looks bright, too, so it'll be fun. Everybody's buying into the green, baby. Yeah, yeah, so that's awesome. <laughs> How many kids out for basketball, 9 through 12? Uh, 29, um, and then we have about, we have like 26 signed up for middle school. Um, yeah, we, and, you know, with the way our team is this year, you know, we, we have one senior. You know, so we lose one guy, oh, and boy. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, it's it, it's good. We just got great numbers and with some talent, so that always helps too. But oh, and um, you lost some talent off. And we did, team. yeah, yeah. But that you know, was that 19 wins? It was a 19 and seven record. <clears throat> uh, terrific, man. Yeah. And was that a that tie was the a, record? <laughs> that's hard to believe. All yeah. the great things that have happened over here, but yeah, you know, I this isn't on the sheet. Okay. Do you? lose anybody to that wonderful wrestling program they have you know I honestly we so. don't you know and like um geez what a darren deal. i mean you know darren and i are have a really really good relationship yeah, you know and great. like i like yeah that. it's Jeez. yeah me too and so i like that not really i mean it's kind of cut and dry yeah you know, from when they're really like i mean like younger a lot of those guys do both you know and then they 
they it, decide, and I, that's fine. You it know, just didn't it, seem like this type of a deal ever no. between you since you've been here. No, least. no, it's been good. We re we support each other really well. So I'd love yeah. to see that. Yeah. So tell me about your team this year. Uh, I know that well, I'll ask you a little bit later about the defensive thing, but. Uh, Tell me about the key figures. Um, you know, Seth Glass is our lone senior, and uh, you know, last year he came and played um, about around January as a junior, and he he had a bad ACL injury his sophomore year. Oh, I Happened in that. a Donovan Trumbull game, and just took a long, kind of a longer time just to recover, and it was kind. Of, then he did some MCL stuff, you know, along the way, and so it, he's just had a rough go. And he's, you know, he sees a six-five kid. Ooh, I mean, just yeah. uh, you know, loves basketball. Um, so I, it's just great seeing him out there, and he's done really well. Good. Um, and you know, he's starting for us. And you know, I, I mean, we when he first moved here, we knew we knew he could play. You know, so I mean, it's, this has just been good. I hope you know everything goes well for him, and um, he has a great senior year. Uh, and then we have you know very strong junior class. Um, a lot of those guys played for us last year. Uh, Ashton Gregg, Dylan and Derek Pfeiffer, they're twins. Uh, Kenai Carney, uh, Nate Hines, who's he's six six, and he's gotten to he's really improved from his freshman year on. Um, he's just gotten you know it's nice to have that size. Oh gosh, um, yes. you know, and then uh, a couple more juniors like Clark Brown and and Tyler Carroll, you know, um, playing JV and stuff right now. But you know they're going to be in the mix when it when to get some more depth. Um, yeah. And then you know we have a really really good sophomore in Aiden Zygman. Uh He Boy, plays. He's, he's played. You know he he plays at the highest level uh, in the summertime with one of the best teams and you know basically in the whole state. Yeah. Um, you know so I mean he's he averaged 14 points a game as a freshman last year. Yeah. Um, just a great player. And then then we have you know uh, 12 or 13 freshmen and. You know, some of those guys are starting JV and helping us out already, and um, you know, so it's it's exciting. Uh, a lot of those guys are, you know, going to do the same thing next year because we only lose one guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. and which is fine. So we're just building and building for the future. And so yeah, it's I mean, but uh, you know, our junior class, like I said, we have a lot of those. Those guys have we've stuck, we kept them together. Yeah. And when they, especially when they were freshmen and they want, you know, they just they just know how to win. You know, and that's a big thing. So, and they, they love playing with each other. So, yeah. that's kind of, we did that. And a lot of guys, you know, move guys up and right. stuff like that. Yeah. So, we've kept them together, and now it's their time to go. So, time to go. Yep. Is there anybody walking the halls that you'd like to see out? Um, you know, we kind of got some kids. You know, we got a, uh, Cole Brandis is a, he is one of our linemen. He's about 6'5". Uh, you know, like he's see. he's a he's a put together dude, and he he played in eighth grade and seventh grade, and <laughs> we got him out, and you know he plays JV for us, and you know he just does. It's been great having him, and uh, we got a Garrett Stoll. He played his freshman year, and unfortunately, the first game of the year he dislocated his ankle, oh like gosh. on the third. I mean, three minutes into the game, athletic kid, and he'll he'll uh, you know he's gonna be out significant time you know but i mean hopefully he gets back towards the end of the season and gets a little gets a little clock you know yeah. but we just got some guys out that we hadn't had in last year and so that's been good as well yeah this happening at a lot of schools these kids are saying oh, come on man i want to be a part of this mm -hmm. haven't done it since eighth grade freshman year but, yeah yeah so tell me about this defense this focus on the defense it was worked the first two weeks <laughs> yeah i watched some film and you're you're raising cane on the backcourt with yeah you? you know our our we we've worked a lot um with these guys like uh, with our press um you know mm. and, and so that's that's something these guys love to do and um it's hard uh to prepare for because you know it you know no possession is ever ever the same no. and we do that at, you know in practice a lot so that these guys love doing that um you know we've kind of just established some different philosophies and in, in our defense that uh hurt us last year in some big games you know like if we maybe had these or did this last year we it could have been a couple of different wins here or there and sure and that means you know a big, and a big, big big thing you know i mean you're one game from going to state and, yeah you know, you run into Carney Catholic, oh, and they're geez. tough. You know, and so I mean, like uh, that. I think uh, that and it fits our guys um, big time. You know, so what what we're trying to do, and obviously it was successful this weekend. But you know, a long ways to go. We're going to play those guys. Are gonna, those two teams that we played, they're going to have good years. You know, we just kind of got on a roll 
there and hit some shots yeah. and got a lot got, got a lot of deflections and steals and but you know I saw Ord won on Tuesday so they they got their first Thank win you. and um, and so yeah and Gibbon plays this week and they they got a big team they're huge again and so they'll be fine um, but. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's that's what our focus is, and we got to stop people to, to win. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, but you got to put the ball through the hoop too. Yeah. But you know that that was, that was always my complaint about Central Catholic years back. But yeah. still, but it looked good, and mm -hmm. and it, it's so, I don't know, you know, it, it's frustrating when you yeah. can do that to the other team, and it's just yeah. like you say, they don't know what to prepare for. Yeah, and our guys are good at reading that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they just. It's one of those. They just know where to go and where their got where their teammates are going to yeah. be. So it it's like something. It, yeah, it was it was fun to watch. You know, team so speed. Got a lot of team That's speed. Yeah, thought. and some size. You know, which is good. So that that press. You know, are you afraid to slap that on anybody? It doesn't look no, like it. No, we'll do it to everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's just what, up, that's just what we do. So <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he's not spilling any seeds. No, I, I know. Um, yep. Any new additions to your schedule this season? Uh, we're playing Amherst and Tino's. Christmas oh, thing. Oh, I'm so yeah. glad to see yeah. it. I think I'll probably get that game too. Yeah, me. good. Yeah, so, so happy to see that. So I know Coach Rippon from just from past, you yeah. know, and stuff like that. So it'll be fun seeing him, and he's got a good team. So, um, you know, that'll be fun. And other than that, it's it's pretty much the same. So and what about your holiday tournament? I never knew how that operated. Who puts? Do you put that together? Yeah, uh, Coach you know, Justin Anderson does. You know, wow, he, that, that's, that's kind of his. You know, big. That's one of his babies. You know, he loves it. An eight teamer, and yes. it's it's great. So this year we'll go to Cozad. You know, we Cozad came and came close. They, they, we played them in Wood River last year, and we really wanted to keep them because you know they're a good team, sure and they, you know yeah. Nick does a good job with them, and. Um, and so we we're gonna play out there. And, but but yet it's your turn. Uh -huh. Central Canada yep. does the same thing with yep. Lincoln Lewis. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So that's we're, okay. Though. Well, we're gonna play them out there, you know. And like the plan is is once our we'll talk about our new facility. But once that once that's done, it, to have everything kind of oh, here yeah. and you well, know people are gonna love playing in that. And playing our middle school is no slouch either. You no, know? So, not this place. <laughs> so yeah, that that that'll be fun. And then we'll play everything else at home. Cool. So, as in the holiday tournament. That's great. Yeah, yeah. And so, who's in your district this year? Uh, it's pretty much it's the same. It's okay. it's Ord, um, St. Paul, uh, Broken Bow, and Centura. And, and that's that's a, that's a manageable. I don't mm -hmm. want to put any, you know. I mean, the other teams are good, but it's manageable. Yeah. And you never know who you're going to get in the, you know. And that's a long ways to look, taking one at a time. But, oh yeah, yeah. But everything looks and and. Uh, have you been fortunate in the past keeping guys healthy? I yeah, mean, you can't control all of that, BJ. No, you know? no, yeah, we. I mean, <laughs> yeah, knock on wood, yeah, we have. Know. You know, we had some some guys kind of get you know banged up in football, just some weird injuries. Yeah. You know, nothing like, you know, and and they, but they're fine. Good. You know, they're playing through it, and um, and so yeah, I mean, for the most part, yeah, we're we're pretty healthy right now. So good. Now, tell us about that new structure. When's that going to be ready? Did um, you say a year? Yeah, it should be. Uh, you know, next year they're they're kind of talking like in September. Um, so it may not, they may not have like the first couple of volleyball games in there or something like that. But they're saying September. But you know how those go. Sure. Uh, but it'll be done for basketball next year. And the, the you know the the top of the dome just was inflated last oh, Monday. Inflated. And, yeah. yeah. So that's. I mean that's. If you haven't seen it, uh, or come through, you all need to come through Central City and look at it because it's very. Not with the top I have. No, so that's why. Yeah, oh it's, my it's gosh. pretty sweet. And then, yeah, it'll be just something like nobody else has. I, and, I didn't think so. And and make it clear who funds that. You guys didn't raise. I mean, that's all government funds. Yeah. It, well, yeah. The FEMA. Almost, and, yep. mm -hmm, and that yep. was smart. Jeff, to Miss, Mr. Jensen, just is the man. You he know. Told he told me that <laughs> before it ever happened. I'm going, dude. You dug a gold mine. Yeah. Up. And then we had a lot of uh, donations as well for hoops and courts. And, good. You know, so, I mean, and it goes on and on. So Can't our wait. communities really backed it, you know, and everybody, and so it's been, it's been very exciting. Everybody's going to want to play on uh, that. Yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> so last question is about the shot clock. What do you think? What's your, what's your thoughts about a shot clock for high school basketball in this state? Um, I, I'm 100% for it, okay. you know. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, just, I guess, I haven't really watched very many high, high school games, 
with a shot clock. My um, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I don't know is when Grand Island goes down and plays in Missouri, correct? That, I, I don't know if they're... That they, ought to be interesting. It'd be interesting if they have one. The Metro Tournament is using one this year. Yes. Yeah. So that would be interesting. I, you know, I think everybody's deal is probably is like, oh, who's going to run it? You know, like at the uh, from from a class A down to a class D school. You know, we is well, we have prob problems finding people to do the book and I that know. type of stuff. And so, um, you know, I think it, it's just like anything. You know, what, as you as we have seen, you know, gyms evolve, and you probably remember how scoreboards have evolved. You know, everybody's getting LED scoreboards yeah, in there. You know, yeah. they're figuring how how to do that. Yeah. So uh, it, it'll, I think, uh, like I said, 100 percent for it. Um, it'll it'll help the game, I believe, both on the offensive end and on the defensive end. I think so. You know, and um, I'm sure there's going to be, uh, it, you know, in college people forget to turn them on too sometimes, and they don't even realize it. So you know, That's it'll it, <laughs> it'll be fine. I think it's it's time for something like that. I think so. And then you'll have the naysayers that there's too many bad shots now. Can yeah. you imagine? Oh yeah. If yeah. McKenna's back there doing air balls now. Yeah. What's gonna happen? Yeah. I'm sure they said that about like the three point line when they I said, know. I mean, it's so and everything but uh, it, it's yeah. an involvement thing and it, and, it, and it will evolve and I think it's going to be a part of the mm -hmm. part of the part of the Nebraska high school basketball yeah. picture if it helps happens. the game then obviously you got to be for it so I know you'll break that school record of 100 but no whatever <laughs> BJ it's great man I, right. you're going to have a good year I just I appreciate feel it. it yeah I feel it man let's get that I, you know, get that team to stay. It's been years, but uh -huh. <laughs> you're going to be the savior, man. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's the goal, man. That's that's our that's all of our guys' goal. You know, yeah. I mean, and, and a lot of teams, obviously, it's their goal, which which I is know. fine. You know, so that that's that is uh, that's these guys are focused. That's what they want to do, and um, you know, it starts again tonight. We play a good Boone Central team, and then yeah. a good Centura team, and uh, on Friday night, so. Um, it's going to test us, and it's, we're going to be ready for it, and it's going to be a challenge, So, but it's going to make us better. Great. So, yeah. I, I didn't even know it was game day, and this yeah. guy took time out. Oh, you were ready to go, man, so oh, we're ready. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot. Appreciate thanks. it. DJ Blaze, how about that? <laughs> McKenna behind the cane. McKenna, come over here. I want you to come yeah. over here. She's, I've got to show her on camera. Come on, McKenna. She's, she's such a good gal. There she is. Thank you. I couldn't get along without her, man. So, yeah, she'd be the girl. All right, we can't have behind the camera, BJ Blaze. For the Independent.com, we'll catch you uh, down the road for the next day in the hoops. Good luck tonight. Hey, thanks a lot. All right.